हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर नम्रता खिलोशिया टॉफिल बी बी ए कॉलेज वापे विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द बिजनेस इनोवेशन एंड स्टार्टअप यूनिट नंबर वन लेटस डिस्कस द रजिस्ट्रेशन प्रोसेस ऑफ एम एस एम ई नाउ गवर्नमेंट लॉज अ न्यू एम एस एम ई रजिस्ट्रेशन प्रोसेस इन अप्रिल टू उद्यम रजिस्ट्रेशन एन एंटरप्राइज शेल बी क्लासिफाइड एज अ माइक्रो स्मॉल और मीडियम एंटरप्राइज ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द फॉलोइंग क्राइटेरिया नेमली फर्स्ट अ माइक्रो एंटरप्राइज वेर द इन्वेस्टमेंट इन प्लांट एंड मशीनरी और इक्विपमेंट डज नॉट एक्सिट वन करोड़ रुपीज एंड टर्न ओवर डज नॉट एक्सीड फाइव करोड़ रुपीज इज कॉल्ड माइक्रो एंटरप्राइज सेकेंड वन अ स्मॉल एंटरप्राइज वेर द इन्वेस्टमेंट इन प्लांट एंड मशीनरी और इक्विपमेंट डज नॉट एक्सीड टेन करोड़ रुपीज एंड टर्न ओवर डज नॉट एक्सीड फिफ्टी करोड़ रुपीज कॉल्ड अ स्मॉल एंटरप्राइज थर्ड अ मीडियम एंटरप्राइज where the investment in plan and machinery or equipment does not exceed 50 crore rupees and turnover does not exceed 2000 and 50 crore rupees is called a medium enterprise let us try to know some more glimpse of the udyam policy government has organized a full system of facilitation for registration process of msme an enterprise for the purpose of this process will be known as udyam and its registration process will be known as udyam registration as i told you a permanent registration number will be given after registration after completion of the process of registration a certificate will be issued online this certificate will have a dynamic qr code from which the web page on the portal and details about the enterprise can be accessed there will be no need for renewal of registration single window system at champions control room and at the dis will help you in the process registration process is totally free no cost or fees are to be paid to anyone more highlights regarding the udyam policy msme registration is free paperless and based on self declaration msme registration process is fully online paperless and based on self declaration with that there is no documents or proof are required to be uploaded for registration of an msme enterprise only aadhar number will be enough for registration process pan and gst link detail on investment and turnover of enterprises will be taken automatically from government data bases portal online system will be fully integrated with income tax and gst in system having pan and gst number is mandatory from 1st april 2021 those who have emii or uam registration or any other registration issued by any authority under the ministry of msme will have to re-register themselves no enterprise shall file more than one udyam registration however any number of activities including manufacturing or service or both may be specified or added in the one registration only
register a micro small and medium enterprise any person who intend to establish a micro small or a medium enterprise may file udyam registration online in the udyam registration portal based on self declaration with no requirement to upload any document papers certificate or proof on registration an enterprise referred to as udyam in the udyam registration portal will be assigned a permanent identity number that is pan to be known as udyam registration number an e e certificate or electronic certificate namely udyam registration certificate shall be issued on completion of the registration process more glimpse on the registration process let's discuss the form for registration shall, shall be as provided in the udyam registration portal only there will be no fees for filling udyam registration as we had discussed earlier aadhar number shall be required for udyam registration again it is repetition the aadhar number shall be of the proprietor in the case of a proprietorship firm or the managing partner in the case of a partnership firm and of a karta in the case of the hindu undivided family that is huf in case of the company or a limited liability partnership or cooperative society or a society or a trust the organization or its authorized signatory shall provide its gs tin and pan along with its aadhar number in case an enterprise is duly registered as an udyam with pan any deficiency or query of the information for previous years when it did not have pan shall be filled up on self declaration basis no enterprise shall file more than one udyam registration as earlier we had discussed provided that any number of activities including manufacturing or service or both may be specified or added in one udyam registration whoever intentionally miss represent or attempts to suppress the self declared facts and figures appearing in the udyam registration or updation process shall be liable to such penalty as specified under section 27 of the act for existing enterprises the registration process is given as below all the existing enterprises registered under em part 2 or uam shall register again on the udyam registration portal on or after the first day of july 2020 all enterprises registered till 30th june 2020 shall be reclassified in accordance with this notification the existing enterprises registered prior to the 13th june 2020 shall continue to be valid only for a period up to 31st of march 2021 an enterprise registered with any other organization under the ministry of micro small and medium enterprises shall register itself under udyam registration now this udyam registration skill is available with the first one link the second one link shows the video regarding the registration process